episode two was a tragedy. Classroom of the Elite season three, episode two. Uh oh, Chunny the Vigilante, give it to me. So the previous video that I made on Classroom of the Elite season yeah. three, episode one, did very well. The responses were 50-50. Some okay. of you agreed with me, and some of you didn't, which I don't really have. A I personally like Michan's new design. She looked like an NPC of NPCs before, and so did Matsushita. <laughs> That's the thing, right? And even Ishidaki got wide as fuck. But it's really cool that these like you know side characters are getting. I don't know more spotlight problem with but before we get into the video just let me say this I am a light novel reader the criticism of course, he's a light novel reader. And hey, we're reading the light novel in this ch ch uh, channel too, right? Volume one, we're getting on it. And I totally understand why the light novel readers are upset about the anime for Classroom of the Elite. When I was anime only, I didn't really understand because if you're anime only, you can pretty much enjoy this series for what it is and you won't feel like nothing is that missing but when you read a light novel you realize like 80 percent of the shit is just cut and so many great moments are cut out it just sucks right that i make of the anime in my videos come from my perspective as a light novel reader mm -hmm. my subscribers are mainly light novel readers so they understood where i was coming from the majority of the people who disagreed with me were anime only who thought that i was just hating on the anime or the and here's the thing Light novel readers complaining is hating on the anime, but it not it, it's kind of nuanced, right? Because at the end of the day, this hate, this criticism, it's all from passion, right? It's all because we love this show so much. And we know that this show could be so much more if they would fucking slow the fuck down and give us a 24 episode season. But instead, they just rush and they just like cut out so many important things. And here's the thing about the anime last episode. I thought that the ending was really sick. The whole, you know, the whole duel, the, the aftermath of the duel with Manabu and Nagumo, right? That moment was really well done in my opinion. There's probably a lot of stuff still cut out, but because the anime still takes these important scenes and delivers, even though they cut out a lot of the shit, anime onis are probably thinking that this is all right. But like, obviously, if you're a light novel reader, you know that there could be, it could be so much better. So at the end of the day, these criticism, this hate, it really comes down from true, like truly passionate people for this series. Or that I was one of those generic light novel readers who just wants to trash the anime. No, mm. I gave the anime compliments where it should be complimented and criticized it where it should be criticized. So if you're an anime only watching this video where I'm going to review episode 2, just mm. know my perspective comes from the light novel. I just thought I would give you a disclaimer. Now with that said, light novel readers, yes. did you enjoy episode 2 of Classroom of the Elite season? Did you guys enjoy it? I mean, even when I asked you guys how long would this arc be, most of you guys were like three episodes. And I was like, damn, only three episodes? That's short as fuck. Turns out they rushed it in two episodes. No. Probably not, and we'll get into the reason why later. So in my previous episode, I reviewed the anime in a negative to positive manner. So for this episode, let's do the opposite and go for the positives first and then the negatives after. All right. Like I mentioned previously, the animation has had a massive upgrade in comparison to the previous two seasons. There were a lot of scenes in this episode where the quality of the animation was just phenomenal. For example, the scene with Ayana Koji talking to Asahina, the scene... Like... And here's the thing about animation, again, it's great, having good animation is like a cherry on top, but I don't give a fuck. Like, animation, I don't care, give me Microsoft Paint, all I need is good story, good plot, voice acting soundtrack. Who gives a fuck about animation of two characters talking to each other? This isn't even a fight scene, right? So like, who gives a fuck about animation quality for Class and the Elite when the 90% of the content is just people talking to each other? So in my opinion, animation quality, I don't give a fuck. I just want the light novel stuff that was cut out to be included in the anime in a 24 episode format. Talking to Asahina, the scene where Nagumo gets Tachibana expelled, and of course, the best animated scene in my opinion, Koenji? the moment when Ayana no. Koji told Kei that he- yeah. Yeah, this this was pretty cool. What one thing that I hate about Class Media Elite's style recently is how dark and shaded it is, which is perfect for capturing the mood, the sinister mood, the scheming nature of Classroom of the Elite. But if you think from a content creator's perspective, Pictures like this that's really dim is not good for thumbnails. That's my only complaint. So again, this is not a complaint at all. For you guys, for every consumer watching this, this is fantastic. For content creators trying to make thumbnails that's supposed to be bright and flashy, dark stuff like this, pretty bad.
he was not going to let her get expelled. That scene looked like a movie. When you yeah, it, it looked really good. Koji, it yep. was amazing, I won't lie. Now, in regards to my feelings on the episode itself, it was somewhat better than episode 1. The pacing and the direction was a lot better as well. And one thing that I have to compliment this episode on is the flow. The way how it started off with hmm. Yukimura feeling helpless and then we go into Ayane Koji and Koenji, which sets the tension for the rest of the episode. And then we have the additional moments that help to build up the intrigue, like Ayane Koji talking to Asahina, Ruin meeting up with Hashimoto, and then we had the emotional scene with the guy- Excuse me? Ruin meeting with Hashimoto? The Sorry, Ryu and that's like that nighttime meeting, right? With Manabu and Nagumo involved. Emotional scene with the guy's conversation, and then it seems like we wrap up the episode with the relay race, but then we have the true. I, I mean, I'm glad that they included more Koenji stuff in the beginning, right? That was great. Koenji just like leading the pack. He's on the top of a fucking mountain. He jumps down. He hunts a boar. Giga Chat. I love that. But like. Could you have not shown me, him, like, just like five seconds of him running really fast? Like, that's all I wanted. Like, you don't even need to show me the entire thing. Just show me Koenji just, like, fucking blitzkrieging the sprint for, like, five seconds and, like, leaving everyone in the dust. That's all you have to do. But they did this shit again, like in season two. Oh, what? witness me, Manabu. Now I'm about to go even faster. <laughs> just fucking off screen. Great climactic scene where Nagumo tried to get Tachibana expelled. Which is what I mean when I say the flow of this episode felt very good, the pacing yeah. felt more natural, and for a good moment, I almost forgot that I was a light novel reader because of how well the episode was flowing. It wasn't until I got to the end of the episode and rewatched it, and that was when it hit me. The reason why this episode felt like it was flowing from one scene to the other so naturally was because they cut so much content from the light novel. Again, like, they cut out, like, 80% of the shit, right? The flow is great. So, here's what I'm seeing from Classroom of the Elite anime versus the light novel. Based on just volume 1 reading, right? It looks like the anime is focusing on just the most critical scenes. And even those scenes are just picked and kind of skipped over. And, like, the most significant scene, they'll give a little bit more focus on it. But everything else that's cut off, which actually adds to the story, it's all the foundation that leads to this well-fleshed out story gets cut out. So... I know that the anime is not supposed to be the final product. At the end of the day, the anime is supposed to be an advertisement for the light novels, but it's just unfortunate. It's just unfortunate, man. Agreed. I'm tired of suffering. Because usually they cut a good amount of content from each episode which makes the episode feel shallow and empty because there's so many details cut out. But it felt weird that this episode was so good and it was flowing so naturally. It wasn't until I consulted the light novel that I realized that they basically finished volume 8 in this episode. Over 200 pages of light novel content. 200 pages, one volume, one episode. God damn. Then selectively cut and rearranged into two episodes. I have never seen an anime give such a middle finger to the source material like Classroom of the... Well, well, let's think about this. It, it, he is right, but if you think about it, if you really think about it, isn't it amazing that the anime is able to cut out 80%, 90% of the content and still produce a well-flowing anime? It's like, you could say that the anime is doing a fantastic job by having just cutting out so much shit and just like having it flow still well. You know what I mean? They cut out 90% of the content, yet the episode was still enjoyable. Which goes to show that the directors, they kind of understand what they're doing, right? They're just picking the most important shit and just going with it and summarizing it, right? This is the most like condensed fucking anime I've seen in a long time, but... Again, it's unfortunate because of the potential that this show could be. Elite. This is where we get into the negative side of the review. Oh, here we go. Tell. The scene with Ayana Koji and Koenji was very disappointing. And it was one of the only... The scene between Ayana Koji and Koenji was disappointing, you say. Why? ...scenes I was actually looking forward to from this volume. Because Koenji is running so fast that no one can catch up to him. But Ayana Koji does and grabs him and... Oh, he... So they were running and then he grabbed. So in this episode, right, Koenji basically jumped down and fucking hunted a boar. And then Koji finds Koenji and then they talk. But in the light novel, he was actually running really fast. And Ayano Koji was able to catch up to him. And the tugging part, right? Because the tugging part was there. And then Koenji, when Ayano Koji tugged him, he's like, oh, I see. So you're the one that took down Dragon Boy, right? So in the light novel, it was... Ugh. 
man, it could have been better. It could have been fucking better. Stops him dead in his tracks. And then Koenji is like, oh, so you're the one who stopped Dragon Boy. And the whole conversation just man. has to go to your screen because you're like, oh shit, how does he know? How yeah, does how, how does he know? The only thing from the anime, right, that we could kind of deduce was, okay, Koji grabbed him. And then Koenji says, huh, so you took out Dragon Boy. So I'm thinking, the, the pinch? The grab, him fucking tugging the sleeves like this, did Ko could Koenji not move? Was Ayana Koji showing his fucking grip strength? And based off of that, did Koenji then realize that, oh, you took out Dragon Boy? I mean, from an anime only, right? There's, that's the only thing you can go by. Figure it out. But in the anime, it's just like, oh, he knows. And then we move on. They yeah. shouldn't have put that scene at the beginning of the episode. It should have been in the middle because it takes away the tension that this scene was meant to give. It was Interesting. so disappointing. And then there's the scene with Asahina and you may be thinking, what problem could you possibly have with that? It looks so good. Yeah. Yes. Animation. Well, the, o the only problem is they're probably just missed content, right? It's just 90% just of the dialogue that's really important just cut out and just giving us just the bare bones of, oh, I hate Nagumo, even though I'm in second year. You want to take him out? Okay, bye. But there's probably a lot more to it than just that, right? Adaptation-wise, it is ridiculous. I don't remember the specifics, but how this was supposed to go was that Ayana Koji got K to get intel on the girls, and mm. then he used information on Asahina to secretly arrange a meeting with her to make it look like it was a coincidence. But the anime completely changed oh, that. Oh, we just kind of dropped this. Oh, you dropped this. Here it is. I, 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 I thought... Here that maybe she noticed Anakoji and she just dropped it on purpose so that Anakoji would pick it up. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking things. I thought that she might have planned this out, but that hmm, interesting. It, like it was just a coincidence. They made Anakoji notice that she dropped the thing for her phone and then just give it back to her and start the conversation from there, which devoids the whole strategy that Anakoji thought up to make the conversation happen and spits in the face of his intelligence and makes him look less smarter than he... Well, we already know how crap Anakoji is. So yes, it is kind of unfortunate that we didn't get to see his scheme and how he was able to talk to the second year girl like that. But it's not the biggest deal, but I totally get why, you know, it kind of makes that scene kind of look bad because in the anime, in the light novel, it was orchestrated in a much more sophisticated way. He is. And you know what's really sad? In the ending song for season three, it's mm. mainly focused on Sake and Nagi. And Wait, this guy's hating on the ending? My the the reaction that I got from my community and most other people is that oh Arisu fan service this is great if you're like a light novel reader and if you like Arisu this is fantastic but he doesn't like this wait is he a Sakayanagi hater? And he uses some illustrations from the light novel, yeah. especially volume zero. Now, when you're White Room stuff. series and your series gets adapted into an anime, usually when the anime drops snippets from scenes later on in the story, or maybe from a different volume related to the series, you get excited. You think, no way, they're using images from volume nine? That means they're going to adapt it into an OVA, or maybe you... Where are we going with this? Are we saying that we're never going to get Volume Zero adaptations? So this is pointless? Movie. And you get hype at the possibility that these scenes may be adapted later into a separate movie or OVA. I'm going to be completely honest. When I saw these snippets of Volume Zero in the ending, I audibly said, Please, God, don't let them touch Volume Zero. Well... Well, if the anime adaptation is as bad as light novel readers are thinking, then I guess it kind of would be butchering volume zero if there was to be an anime adaptation huh what if they had like an ova one episode 20 minutes that just covered the entire volume zero i they should have a movie for it they should have like a two-hour movie on volume zero right so okay this this is a very interesting situation where the fandom is begging for the stu for them to not adapt volume zero like there's no other fandom that are like that is like this but it makes sense because of how the anime has been treated that is my favorite volume in the series and i know that if they adapted it into an ova or a movie they would absolutely decimate it they would ruin it please do not let them put their money grubbing content cutting hands on volume zero I mean, if they made like a two hour movie, right, out of volume zero, I'd be down. That was what I thought, which is really sad because usually you would want your favorite volume to be adapted, but with the state of the anime, nah, don't even look in volume zero's direction. Unless they get enough time to properly adapt it, or maybe another studio takes it up, 
I don't want to see it. Most of the light novel readers have been saying they rushed volume 8 because it's the most boring volume and they want to save- Is volume 8 the arc that we just had? The rest of the episodes for volumes 9 to 11.5, which okay. might be right because it does look like that's what they're doing, but they still cut out so many important scenes and dialogues that will be needed for the future. Especially for Nagumo, they cut out so many scenes that were meant to add to his character, like when he confronted Koenji- That's right! In the light novel in episode 1, Koenji and Nagumo had a discussion and Nagumo pretty much called out Koenji's plan to get to class A, right? He was playing cards with the first year students. Because they took out so much content, Nagumo's character just feels flat and dry. The only thing that saved him was in the- Does Nagumo's character feel flat and dry? As an anime only, in season 3 so far, he kind of just got thrown in at the end. I mean, the declaration of the duel in episode one was pretty cool. But then afterwards, if I got to see him kind of talk more and have a little bit more development, then maybe the end of episode two would be a little bit more meaningful. It, it did kind of make him a little bit more mysterious because like, okay, he, commit, he fucking confronts Manabu with the duel in episode one. And in episode two, he just comes out of nowhere after the secret meeting at night that also got skipped. And then Nagumo pulls out the trump card of, ha, I'm gonna get all you expelled. Mm, flat and dry. I guess as an anime only, I don't have the perspective as a light novel of a Nagumo, like a, night, like a light novel Nagumo, right? I can't really compare, so I can't really cast judgment. And again, as anime only, they don't have any complaints. The anime only are just ignorant, right? We are, ignorance is bliss, right? The more you know, the more suffering you'll have because you'll realize the potential it could have been end of episode 2 when he got Tachibana expelled but there's so much more to his character that makes him so intriguing that Tell me about explained it. explained in the light novel. Tell what me about, about it then. What introduction? Yeah, what about this guy? Yo, what, what, what about this guy though? <laughs> he just showed up for episode 1 and just kind of fucked off, huh? In volume 7.5, which they cut, which reveals that Kiriyama hates Nagumo so much that he is willing to work with Ayana Koji to stop him. Do you see what I'm saying? So after seeing how they did volume 8 in two episodes, why would you expect better for volumes 9 to 11.5? Here's the thing. I've never had that expectation. I am fully aware that season 3 is probably going to get rushed just like season 1 and 2. And that is just the nature of Classroom D to anime. I am fully aware of this. This is, I know what I signed up for. And I'm basically here to just to farm drama. And here's the beautiful thing about content creation, okay? The beautiful thing about content creation is if they adapted it well, then perfect. We're eating well. If they adapt it bad, then other people like him make drama videos, which I can farm. Win or lose, it doesn't matter. I always come out on top. I don't think that just because we have 11 episodes left means they're going to adapt at a slower pace so they can cover more. Material. I have no faith. I have no faith. Past content in the light novel and chances are if there's a scene that you're highly anticipating in the future volumes, it's either going to get cut, rearranged or removed. That is the conclusion that can be drawn after seeing the last two episodes. I know the anime only is might hate me because of how negative I am towards the anime, but I think the best way to frame this to the anime only is as a light novel community community member is to say this hate this criticism comes from a place of love for classroom of the elite and if you anime only truly understood what we were missing out on you would also be just as mad and again at the end of the day this isn't a war between the anime only fans and the light novel fans no everybody here is a fan of classroom of the elite it just happens that the light novel readers are aware of the things that make the show even better that the anime only are not aware of again Ignorance is bliss. Just understand, my criticisms come from a place of love for the that's scene. Right, and that's right, that's right. That I express towards it's just passion. Comes from a place of distress from seeing the source material butchered so badly in the anime. But the light novel readers understand my pain, which is why we all went into the anime not expecting anything, but we still got disappointed. In no expectations, but still got disappointed. <laughs> It is what it is, man. Imagine that. But now that I've seen the first two episodes and have a basic idea of how season three is going to go, I'll end my ranting with this video. After this video, I won't be covering any more episodes of season well, three. Well, no, 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 please.
cover more drama. What the fuck? I need more content to farm. Please, every episode, I need a drama update. Other than the chess match with Saki and Nagi. Oh, come and on. And if they properly adapt a certain scene from volume 11.5. Apart from that, I'll just watch the anime in silence because I don't make these videos just to hate on the anime. It's for actual criticism. But now that I see that the anime is not getting better, I'll just step away. If it does get better, I'll talk about it. If not, I'll just stay quiet. I have some manga recommendations that I've been meaning to do, so maybe I'll start with those in the next video. Well, it's unfortunate, but please go give Chunny the Vigilante some love. Subscribe to his channel if you like it. You know, like his videos. I, again, I, I, I need more drama update. I, I need more drama update so I can farm these videos more. And memes aside, like, it totally makes sense why people are upset about, you know, the state of classroom the elite, but... It is what it is. You've already seen season one. You've already seen season two. You shouldn't have any expectations. It sucks. It is what it is. You, all you gotta do is just kind of supplement yourself with the light novel and cope that maybe, you know, some scenes will be cool in, in, in the anime. And, and like, it's not that every scene is butchered, right? There's still some cool moments that'll still get covered, but I'm sure it's still not gonna be as best as, you know, the light novel. But again, it is what it is, man.